the key of time, tablet number 10 from the Emerald Tablets of Toth. Listen, ye, O man, take of my wisdom. Learn of his deep hidden mysteries of space. Learn of the thought that grew in the abyss, bringing order and harmony in space. Know you, O man, that all exists has being only because of the law. Know ye the law, and ye shall be free. Never be bound by the fetters of night. Far through strange spaces have I journeyed into the depth of abyss of the time, until in the end all was revealed. Know ye that mystery is only mystery when it is knowledge unknown to man. When ye have plumbed the heart of all mystery, knowledge and wisdom will surely be yours. Seek you and learn that time is the secret, whereby you may be free of this space. Long have I sought wisdom. I and shall seek of eternity's end, for know that ever before me receding shall move the goal I seek to attain. Even the lords of the cycles know not yet reach the goal. For with all their wisdom, they know that truth ever grows. Once in a past time, I spoke to the dweller and asked of the mystery of time and space and asked him the question that surged in my being, saying, O Master, what is time? This to me spoke he, the Master, and he said, Know ye, O Toth, In the beginning there was void and nothingness, a timeless, spaceless nothingness. And into the nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all-pervading, and it filled the void. There existed no matter, only force, a movement, a vortex, or vibration of the purposeful thought that filled the void. And I questioned the master, saying, Was this thought eternal? And the dweller answered me, saying, In the beginning there was eternal thought, and for thought to be eternal, time must exist. So into the all-pervading thought grew the law of time. I, time which exists through all space, floating in a smooth, rhythmic movement that is eternally in a state of fixation. Time changes not, But all things change in time. For time is the force that holds events separate, each in its own proper place. Time is not in motion, but we move through time as your consciousness moves from one event to another. Yes, my time yet exists all in all, an eternal one existence. Know ye that even though in the time ye are separate, yet still are one in all times existence. Then the voice of the dweller ceased, and departed I to ponder on time. For I knew that in these words lay wisdom, and a way to explore the mysteries of time. Often did I ponder the words of the dweller, that I sought to solve the mystery of time. I found that time moves through strange angles, Yet only by curves could I hope to attain the key. The key that would give me access to the space-time. Found I that only by moving upward, and yet again by moving to a right angle, could I be free from the time of the movement. Forth I came out of my body, moved in the movements that changed me in time. Strange were the sights I saw in my journeys. Many the mysteries that open to view. I, I saw man's beginning and learned from the past that nothing is new. Seek ye, O man, to learn the pathway that leads through the spaces that are formed forth in time. Forget not, O man, with all of thy seeking that light is the goal ye shall seek to attain. Search you for the light on the pathway and ever for you the goal shall endure. Let not your heart ever turn to darkness. Let light shine and the soul shall be a sun on its way. 
Know ye that eternal brightness, you shall ever find thy soul hid in light, never fettered by bondage or darkness, ever it shines forth a sun of the light. Yes, know through, though hidden in darkness, your soul, a spark of the true flame, exists. Be ye one with the greatest of all lights. Find at the source the end of thy goal. Light is life, for without the great light, nothing can ever exist. Know that in all formed matter, the heart of light always exists. I, even though bound in the darkness, inherent light always exists. Once I stood in the halls of Amenti and heard the voice of the lords of Amenti, saying in tones that rang through the silence, words of power, mighty and potent, chanted they the songs of the cycles, the words that opened the path to beyond. I saw the great path open and looked for the instant into the beyond. I saw the movements of the cycles, vast as the thought of the source could convey. Knew I then even infinity is moving on to some unthinkable end. I saw that the cosmos is order and a part of movement that extends to all space a party of an order of orders, constantly moving in a harmony of space. Saw I the wheeling of cycles, like vast circles across the sky. I knew then that all that has being is growing to meet yet another being in a far-off grouping of space and time. Knew I then that in words are power to open the planes that are hidden from man. I that even in words lies hidden the key that will open the above and the below. Hark ye now, man, this word I leave with thee. Use it, and ye shall find power in its sound. Say ye the word, Zin Uru, Zin Uru, Zin Uru, and power ye shall find. Yet must ye understand that man is of light, and light is of man. List ye, O man, and hear a mystery, stranger than all that lies neath the sun. Know ye, O man, that all space is filled by worlds within worlds, I one within the other, yet separate by law. Once in my search for the deep buried wisdom, I opened the door that bars them from man. Called I from the other planes of being, one who was fairer than the daughters of men. I, I called her from out of the spaces to shine as a light in the world of men. Used I the drum of the serpent, wore I the robe of the purple and gold. Placed on my head I the crown of silver. Around me the circle of cinnabar shone. Raised I my arms and cried the invocation that opens the path to the plains of beyond. Cried I to the lords of the signs in their houses, lords of the two horizons, watchers of the treble gates. Stand ye one at right and one at the left as the star rises to its throne and rules over his sign. I, thou dark prince of Arulu, open the gates of the dim hidden land and release her whom ye keep imprisoned. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, dark lords and shining ones, and by their secret names, names which I know and can pronounce, hear ye and obey my will. Lit I then with flame my circle and called her in the space plains beyond, daughter of light returned from Arulu. Seven times and seven times have I passed through the fire. Food I have not eaten, Water I have not drunk. I call thee from Marulu, from the realms of Ereshkigo. I summon thee, Lady of Night. Then before me rose the dark figures, I, the figures of the lords of Arulu. Parted they before me, and forth came the Lady of the Light. Free was she now from the lords of the night, free to live in the light of the earth sun, free to live as a child of the light. Hear ye and listen, O my children, Magic is knowledge, and only is law. Be not afraid of the power within thee, for it follows law as the stars in the sky. Know ye that to be without knowledge, wisdom, 
is magic and not of the law. But know ye that ever ye by your knowledge can approach closer to a place in the sun. List ye, my children, follow my teaching. Be ye ever seekers of light. Shine in the world of men all around thee, a light on the path that shall shine among men. Follow ye and learn of my magic. Know that all force is yours if you will it. Fear not the path that leads to knowledge, but rather shun the dark road. Light is yours, O man, for the taking. Cast off the fetters and thou shalt be free. Know that your soul is living in bondage, fettered by fears that hold you enthralled. Open thy eyes and see the great sunlight. Be not afraid, for all is your own. Fear is the lord of the dark Arulu, to he who never faced the dark fear. Know that fear has an existence created by those who are bound by their fears. Shake off the bondage, O children, and walk in the light of the glorious day. Never turn your thoughts to the darkness, and surely you shall be one with the light. Man is only what he believeth, a brother of darkness or a child of the light. Come through into the light, my children. Walk in the pathway that leads to the sun. Hark ye now and listen to the wisdom. Use thou the word I have given unto thee. Use it, and surely thou shalt find power and wisdom, and light to walk in the way. Seek thee and find the key I have given, and ever shalt thou be a child of the light.